Hey everybody, it's Paige Evans and I want to show you how to construct my suitcase mini album cut file available in the Silhouette store and my Etsy, Etsy shop. So die cut all of the pieces from pattern papers or cardstock of your choice and I'm starting with the biggest piece and folding along the scored lines. Now these flaps have a flap on the side and the bottom and alternate which way they go. Those are going to become extra pockets. I'm not gluing anything down yet on that piece, but now I'm going to start placing the inner pieces. I'm just deciding which pattern I want on the inside or the outside, and I decided I want the flower pieces on the inside, so there should be a piece for each and every section. And just go ahead and apply some adhesive to the back. You could also get really detailed and machine stitch these in place or hand, hand stitch them in place. And the left and right side are just a little bit different sizes, so make sure that you get the one that fits on the left side and on the right side as I'm placing right now. So this left edge is going to fold over to the right, and this right edge flap is going to fold over to the left. Um, so now I'm going to place sticky tape on the top and bottom edges of these flaps to turn them into pockets. So you don't have to place adhesive on the bottom because it's got an edge right there. Repeating on the opposite side, going to place super sticky double-sided tape on the top and bottom edges only, and then fold it over to create a pocket. And these are great for inserting extra pieces of embellishments, ephemera, etc. And so I'm flipping it over. This is going to be the outside of the suitcase, and this is a more subtle pattern. And again, there's one for each section, and just make sure that you put the right size on the left and right flaps. They are just barely slightly different sizes, so whichever one fits more, has the even border around the edge, is the one that's going to go in that spot. Now these bottom flaps are going to fold up, again, to create pockets. Great for storing extra pictures or notes, sentiments things that you picked up along your travels. So once I finish putting all these little sections in place, I'm going to repeat what I did to create the pockets on the other side, which is adding double-sided tape to, this time it's the left and right sides only, super sticky tape, or you could use machine stitching. It might mess up the other side though, so adhesive is probably the best way to go for these flaps. Great, the pockets are created. Now this piece, again, you fold along the scored lines or the perforated lines. Sorry, it got blurry I'm working with a new camera. Um, add adhesive to the back. And if you want to, you can back these cut files with scratch cardstock and adhere it onto the middle. And then fold it up and you are making great progress on your suitcase mini album. So these tiny little pieces fold them over on the score lines, add adhesive, and then add them onto the front. So wherever you place these little flaps is going to determine where you add the rest of the pieces for the album. So I'm just eyeballing it, trying to make them even between the left and right side and the top and bottom edges. And those are the first pieces to go on and then fold on the score lines of these thin strips and they wrap around the suitcase and you can tuck them up into these little buckles and tuck the flaps down into the buckles and this will keep the album closed. So repeat for the other one again just fold along the perforated lines, tuck the strip up into the buckle, wrap the strip around and tuck the strip into the buckle. This will be the top part so you fold the pieces over so one is underneath, you can add some adhesive, fold it back, put some adhesive on this one, and this just gives it a little bit reinforcement to have this extra folded piece. Add some more adhesive onto the bottom, and then you want to fold it into a gentle curve when you adhere it on top, and these go right on top of the thin pattern paper strips. And then to keep everything in place, add some adhesive to the back of the thin pattern paper strips. And that should hold these in place. And 
great, your mini album is finished. So again, I'll just open it up so you can see what it looks like and then you can add your pictures from your adventures, vacations. I love how interactive it is. So there's lots of different spots to add extra pictures, journaling, ephemera, and more. So, and then it folds up into a super cute little suitcase and you can display it on your shelf. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon.